Hi, I'm here today with Andy Mountford, Enterprise Architect at RWE Supply and Trading. Andy, let's start with a background to RWE Supply and Trading. Okay, so RWE Supply and Trading is basically the interface between RWE groups and the global energy markets. So although it's uh, organisationally a small part of RWE, with about 1,500 people, it has a global presence. So we have a uh, headquarters in Essen, Germany, which is where we also have Europe's largest energy trading uh, floor. Uh, and we have other trading floors in the UK, in London and Swindon, and affiliate offices around the world in places like Den Bosch, New York, Prague and Jakarta. What are the business challenges and priorities for RWE Supply and Trading? We run a pretty complicated business. We're responsible for the supply and trading of a number of commodities covering power, gas, oil, coal, biomass and carbon emissions in both physical and derivative form into a variety of markets worldwide. On top of that, we also have the challenges of being responsible for the economic optimization of RWE's asset base. And how does technology help with these challenges? As a trading company, our primary assets are really people and technology. So information technology in particular supports every aspect of the business from decision support through to trade execution, risk management, logistics and through to back office functions such as uh, settlement for example. Uh, without significant investment in information technology we couldn't run effectively as a trading business. Why did you approach CAST? I think alongside many other companies we're realising that the increased complexity of our IT systems adds to the risk profile and inhibits future change. So we're always looking for tools and techniques that will help us deliver high quality solutions with lower complexity and therefore reduce the cost and burden of maintaining these systems over their lifetime. Can you give us some details on the technology purchased? We have purchased CAST's application intelligence platform which is basically uh, a structural software analysis tool. It enables us to gain insight into the structural properties of our solutions, identify where uh, quality issues lie, uh, and help us develop cleaner, simpler, higher quality, easier to change solutions. How has this technology helped the business? I think it's early days, uh, but what we can say is that the identification of significant structural issues in solutions uh, will help us on two fronts. So the first front it helps us on is that um, if we can prevent issues that might affect the robustness of solutions before they go into production, then that's obviously going to reduce the business impact of outages, for example. Uh, and in the, and then in the longer term, anything that's going to help us uh, increase the productivity of change by increasing quality is also going to reduce the overall cost through that, throughout the lifetime of the system. What can the business achieve now that it could not previously? Real insight into the structural aspect of solutions. So like many businesses, we have quality functions that focus on functional and traditional non-functional qualities. Uh, but up until now, the structural quality of solutions has been somewhat neglected, I think. And I think this enables us to get to the next level in terms of quality control and productivity. And where is RWE supply and trading headed in the future? The only certainty, I think, is change. Yeah? So we're, all, we're always going to have to look at uh, new market opportunities. Uh, and obviously with new markets, there's additional risk and additional regulatory pressures. So one of the things we need to do as an IT function is both provide a robust platform for business operations uh, and provide a degree of agility so that the business can meet the ever-changing marketplace. I think using this sort of technology to control quality and complexity is certainly part of that story.